Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about cholesterol again, a topic that is little understood, shrouded in myth, and often met with unnecessary fear. Specifically, we're discussing the fascinating and often misunderstood connection between cholesterol levels and the carnivore diet, a way of eating that centers around animal-based foods, meaning it's naturally high in fat and completely eliminates carbohydrates. While we're focusing on the carnivore approach, keep in mind that these insights are relevant to low-carb diets in general. This video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered a substitute for medical advice. The information presented here is intended to encourage further research and discussion with your doctor. To truly grasp the complex issue of cholesterol, we need to lay down some foundational knowledge. Our bodies are incredible machines that run on energy derived from the food we consume. This energy mainly comes from macronutrients, fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Think of them as the fuel that keeps our engine running. Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that is crucial for the formation of cell membranes, certain hormones, and vitamin D. It is produced by the liver and can also be obtained from dietary sources. Triglycerides, on the other hand, are a type of fat, lipid, found in your blood. When you eat, your body converts any calories it doesn't need to use right away into triglycerides, which are stored in fat cells. Later, hormones release triglycerides for energy between meals. This is where lipoproteins come in. Imagine them as tiny, specialized vehicles transporting lipids, particularly cholesterol and triglycerides, in the bloodstream and throughout our body. Just like we have different vehicles for different purposes, our bodies have different types of lipoproteins. It's important to note that there is only one type of cholesterol. The terms LDL and HDL refer to the type of lipoprotein, not different kinds of cholesterol themselves. Think of cholesterol like cargo and lipoproteins as the delivery trucks that carry it throughout your bloodstream. These are the different types of lipoproteins. First, kilomicrons. They transport dietary triglycerides and cholesterol from the intestines to various tissues. Then, low-density lipoproteins, or LDL, often referred to as bad cholesterol because they carry cholesterol from the liver to tissues, including the arterial walls. Next, we have high-density lipoproteins, HDL, often referred to as good cholesterol because they help remove excess cholesterol from the bloodstream and transport it back to the liver for processing and excretion. And finally, we have very low-density lipoproteins, VLDL. They transport triglycerides synthesized in the liver to tissues throughout the body. For decades, the prevailing medical view has been that high levels of LDL cholesterol are inherently harmful and significantly increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases. This perspective, deeply rooted in established guidelines, suggests that elevated LDL levels contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, leading to conditions like atherosclerosis, heart attacks, and strokes. Consequently, the standard medical approach has been to lower LDL cholesterol as much as possible, often through the use of cholesterol-lowering medications such as statins. Dietary recommendations have also emphasized reducing the intake of saturated fats and cholesterol-rich foods to manage LDL levels. However, this one-size-fits-all approach has been increasingly questioned by researchers and clinicians who argue that it may overlook important context and individual variations. People who follow the carnivore diet often report higher cholesterol levels, particularly LDL. This can be alarming, especially given the conventional wisdom that equates high LDL with increased cardiovascular risk. However, it's crucial to understand that elevated cholesterol on a carnivore diet is not necessarily a cause for concern. The carnivore diet, rich in fats and proteins, can lead to changes in lipid profiles that may not fit the traditional risk models. Many find that while their LDL levels increase, their triglycerides decrease and HDL, the good cholesterol, rises, which can be an indicator of improved metabolic health. Developed by Dave Feldman, 
The lipid energy model offers an explanation for why some people experience very high LDL cholesterol levels, particularly when following a low-carb or ketogenic diet. The core idea is that LDL cholesterol levels are not just a function of dietary cholesterol and saturated fat intake, but are heavily influenced by an individual's overall metabolic state and ability to efficiently transport and utilize lipids as fuel. In metabolically healthy individuals, especially those who are lean and physically active, the body may upregulate LDL production and trafficking to meet increased energy demands. This can manifest as very high LDL levels, but not necessarily increased cardiovascular risk. The lipid energy model proposes that the traditional risk associations between LDL and heart disease may not apply in all contexts, particularly for people without other metabolic abnormalities. This challenges the traditional medical view that high LDL cholesterol is always dangerous. It suggests that in some cases, high LDL levels might not be a problem if the body is well equipped to handle them. Research also suggests that the larger LDL particles often seen in people on low carb diets are less likely to get stuck in artery walls compared to the small, dense LDL particles. So assessing heart disease risk solely based on an LDL cholesterol number on a lipid panel, without considering the entire panel and lipid profile, the metabolic health of the individual and broader lifestyle factors, is like trying to diagnose an illness based on one symptom. It's crucial to look at the bigger picture. So why does cholesterol go up on a carnivore diet? While more research is needed and ongoing, here are some prevailing theories. Metabolic adaptation. When you significantly reduce carbs, your body becomes more efficient at burning fat for fuel. This shift might influence how cholesterol is packaged and transported, potentially leading to changes in LDL levels. Improved insulin sensitivity. Low carb diets often improve insulin sensitivity, meaning your cells use glucose more efficiently. This can positively impact lipid metabolism and potentially influence LDL particle size and clearance. Genetic factors. Everyone responds differently to dietary changes. Our genes play a role in how our bodies metabolize fat, produce lipoproteins, and handle cholesterol. The key takeaway? Don't panic about fluctuations in your cholesterol levels, especially on a low-carb or no-carb carnivore diet. Become an active participant in your heart health journey. Understanding your cholesterol levels is key, and that starts with comprehending your lipid panel results. Don't just glance at the numbers, delve into what they signify for your overall health, and focus on working with your doctor. When you meet with your doctor, come equipped with knowledge and a willingness to engage in open dialogue. This fosters a genuine partnership where you can collaboratively interpret your results and make informed decisions about your health. Remember, a well-informed patient empowers both themselves and their healthcare provider. Adopting a holistic approach. Prioritize a healthy lifestyle that includes regular moderate exercise, stress management, and quality sleep. These elements work synergistically to improve various aspects of your health, including your cholesterol levels. Remember, a holistic approach addresses not just the numbers on a page, but your overall well being for sustainable long term health. Thank you for watching. Until next time, friends, and remember live long, live strong, go carnivore.